That we're going to play more or less. Mm -hmm. oh, look at this. Here's great. Our model, Kyle. Let's go Brandt back and here. forth here. You try not to scratch the surface, but you go more, less. It's simple. These things are brilliant. I dig it. Will's talking about the Saints mm. and Drew Brees using motivation, but not sulking in the misery of that loss. So, of course, it was heartbreaking. Their first home playoff loss in the Brees Payton era. Mm. But looking ahead to this year, more or less than one playoff win for the Saints, Kyle. Uh, I'm going to go. Watch this. See? You think I have more, but then I'm going to go with less. Uh, unfortunately, I hate to be the hater, but we have a very healthy respect at this table for the Superdome in the playoffs, right? We talked about it all year. That's going to be the question. It ain't easy to get home playoff games, especially since I guarantee the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are going to be better with Bruce Arians. Atlanta is going to be healthier, and they always play New Orleans tough. The teams in the NFC are getting a lot better, and I don't know if the Saints got demonstrably better in the offseason. I like Jared Cook a lot, but I feel like it's generally the same team. Latavius comes in from Mark Ingram. They'll be really good, but they got to get the home playoff game. And in the NFC South, I think it's going to be much more difficult this mm. year. I'll go less. See, Kyle, he, he answers things on the surface. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go, go beneath the surface. Beneath the surface. Oh, yeah. that's beautiful. Uh, dig a little deeper? Yeah, I'm going to dig a little deeper. And okay. I feel like the motivation is beneath the surface. Uh -huh. And we, we spoke with Cam Jordan. He said that, you know, we're dealing with something that no team has ever dealt with. And over the last couple of years, if we're trending in the same direction, our anger, the way we look at the game, the way we feel like we've been disrespected and cheated, we're supposed to go out and win the Super Bowl next year. So I do feel like with what they have in Kamara is going to be that workhorse we all wanted him to be. Here we go. This is what he's been waiting for. This is what we have been waiting for. Yeah. So because they're anchored by this young man who at times make it look so effort effortless, I'm going to go with more. Yes, they will. I wouldn't be surprised if they are our representation in the Super Bowl. Mm. Oh. Uh, there's a progression that Cam Jordan mentioned in that interview you guys did with him. It was we went to the divisional round, lost in heartbreaking fashion. Yep. Went to the championship game, lost in crazy heartbreaking fashion. Yep. The next step is Super Bowl or bust. So I'm going to say the expectation is at the very least more. I think sure. it's Super Bowl birth. This is where we're at. That's a loaded NFC, Kyle. You're right. But I think there's no team on paper with the exception of the Rams, who you could argue the Saints could have come out of that one if it wasn't for a call. Of course. That could challenge them right now. They are so good, so loaded, and I do think Ingram is a big loss. But the way Sean Payton can work with that roster, they'll find some ways to get to get over. Just, Sean Payton. So if you hang out with some of these teams, like the the Falcons, when they lost and they had to embrace the suck and go on. Do you feel like they're they're walking the perfect line? of we feel disrespected, we're going to use that to our advantage, and sulking and letting it almost hurt them going forward. I feel like they're in a really sweet spot, all of them. Ted Ginn sitting here, I Drew agree. Brees, Cam Jordan. I think Peyton himself, like, it was a weird way to go out. Yes, they gave up a 13-point lead, mm -hmm. and yes, the Rams earned that victory. But in almost a way, you can look and say, we outplayed that team, but we had it taken from us. Yeah. Minneapolis Miracle, you lost that game. That happens. Yeah. That's football. The one with the flags, that's where you can kind of say, wait, we actually, and that gets you a different kind of fuel. And can I talk to Sean Payton for a second? What do you got? Hey, Sean, just just chill out, man. No more brooms, no more briefcases of money. Like, no I get way, it. Bro. You are a master <laughs> motivator. Him. I'm just saying, Hey, fam. you look like you're wearing no, Saints colors. Change. You're wearing Saints colors right now. All I'm saying, Sean Payton, it didn't work. It didn't work. So let's leave the brooms and the briefcases of money.